shot. Great score. Joseph Cooney makes an angle for himself and puts it beautifully over. That's Colin Galvin at his best. Here's an opportunity for him. And he's got it. Opening goal. But Claire will feel that they are well equal to the task in the second half. David Burke outside to Joe Canning. What a start this is. 22 seconds. Down at the other end is Shanahan. Great stop. Burke lets it off. That could be a winner. And the referee blows the final whistle. And there all was plenty for Galway. They beat Clare. And while we're looking at that, James e. O'Connor has rattled the back of the Galway Nets. Which is driven by Niall Gilligan. They saw the dummy on the left. That's Niall Gilligan. Jamesy again, picking up the loose ball, doing what he's done before in Croke Park. Jamesy is back, but it's Galway that seek the equaliser. This is Gun over the bar. Gives it high, and Lynch scores! You'd have to say, Marty, that he deserves that one. If anyone's going to win it for Clare, it's Lynch. He's having the game of his life. The word will go around Ireland that Clare Hurlers are back in business. Ostanini Gaidi, did a bit of Tarantara, Fashi Sigo! Agastasha Porta, and Alio Fahi, or Fahi Sigo! Agastasha Tana, Agastasha Porta, and Gaia! Nilo Gilligan, cool at Tastal, on board. Agastasha Porta, Agastasha Porta, and Bakhtamara. Shanta Hula, and Michelle Gilligan, and Agastasha Porta, and Gaia! The players of Galway and Clare march behind the Artane Boys Band at Croke Park on the first Sunday in August for their All Ireland Harding semi final. Good ball inside. Here's a great chance. Gerald Oakland. Side towards Francis Ford. Ford gets a touch. That's a great goal. That lead is pegged back now. O'Connor from the 45 meter line puts it over. 